Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tatiana Anissa. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I'm currently trying to get to 350 subscribers within a week. I have a huge giveaway when I hit 500 subscribers because that's literally the halfway mark to a thousand. So that's going to be a really, really big giveaway. So as you guys can already see from the title, you know what we're going to be reviewing today. We're going to be reviewing the new Morphe X Maddie Ziegler palette. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. I <laughs> filmed this video yesterday. I did not like how it came out. So I'm redoing it today. So this really isn't a like first impressions kind of, you know, video. Uh, so I want to be very transparent with you guys. So we're redoing it today. And yeah, so here is the palette, guys. I think that this packaging is really stunning. It is gorgeous. It has Maddie's eyes and like her little drawings on the packaging as well. And it is really beautiful and stunning. A lot of people say it reminds them of the that ColourPop palette. I don't have it. I think it's the Sarah E palette. The I Love Sarah E palette. Something like that. By the way, guys, I'm wearing the new ColourPop foundation. So if you haven't seen a review on that, definitely go and check it out. It is my last video. Back to this palette. So we have the palette right here. And guys, it is all white. <sighs> and it's matte. It's white and it's matte, the two worst combinations there are. Having a white palette gets dirty so fast, but then having it being matte is even worse. It's harder to clean, but the packaging is really pretty. When I first ordered this palette online, I thought it was going to be really, really big. You guys know how big Morphe palettes are. They're big and they're hard to store sometimes. and. When I got this one, you guys, this palette is literally the size of my hand. That's how small it is. I'm really happy about this size because it is the it is the perfect size palette. This palette does retail for $25. And uh, I think that's a pretty good price point, especially if you get it at Ulta. You can definitely use your points or use a coupon to take off some of the price. Or if you get it on Morphe, you can get 10% off, which is really, really great. Uh, but let's open it up so I can show you guys what it looks like. When you open it up, it has a mirror right here, which is beautiful. We love a mirror. We love it. Morphe, continue to put mirrors in your palettes because this is, it's just perfect. So this is the color story of the palette and I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's like little imprints of Maddie's drawings in some of the shadows, which I think is such a beautiful touch. I've never seen Morphe do anything like that before. I love this color story. It is the perfect mix of neutrals and pops of color. And I feel like a lot of people that don't really care for color or prefer to just do a pop of color can get a lot of use out of this, as well as people who love color. I just think that this is such a good color story. So let me tell y'all, when I used this palette yesterday, I did an all green look. Well, I took this mint shade and I put it all over the lid and then I took some of this shade and put it in the crease and it was really pretty. I'm not going to redo that look today because I already know how those colors work. I really, 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 really want to take this pink shade and put it all over my lid. I haven't done an all pink look like that in so long. I just really want to do that. But before I get started with that, I want to go ahead and include some swatches of these shades for you guys so you guys could see. So we're going to swatch Godmom because this is my favorite shade in this palette for sure. And it is like a topper but it's stunning. It is so iridescent and it's so beautiful. The next shade we're going to swatch is Crushed, which is a like corally pinkish shade and I think this is beautiful. Next we're going to swatch the shade 5, which is that beautiful baby blue pastel -y color in the palette. Oh, that oh, 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 that's beautiful. Wait, I might use some of this today. That's gorgeous. And there is a black in this palette. We're going to swatch that black because when there's a black in the palette, I love that because I don't have to dig in other palettes for a black. And a lot of palettes I've been getting recently don't include a black. What's up with that? So here's the black. 
Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The pigment on that black is stunning. It is not patchy at all. Wow, wow, guys. Look at that. Let's go ahead and swatch the shade ASAP, which is this like brownie, metallic y kind of shade. Is that a metallic or is that a satin? Honestly, it kind of looks like a satin. Not too sure about that one. Lastly, let's swatch the shade Posse because it is a purple and I love my purples. Ooh, that's pretty. All of these shades swatched so good and I'm really impressed. I was impressed yesterday with the shades that I used, but now I get to try out more shades. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the shade Latte, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to put this in my crease. I didn't burn my lids. All right, we're back. And like I said, we're going to go in with the shade Latte, and this is going to be my transition shade. Okay, so this shade mm, isn't really doing much for me. So I might just go back in with the shade that really worked out for me as my transition. Okay, so that shade didn't really do much for me. If anything, it just set my base, Kenny, which I loved as a transition yesterday. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that today in my crease. Oh, look at that. See, that's pretty. So now that I have that shade all on the lid, I think that it's definitely time to go in with this shade right here, which is Dancing Queen. This is the shade I said I wanted to just put all over my lid. So I'm going to take that with my finger just to see how that's going to work. It kind of looks like a sheer topper, but we're going to see. Oh, that's so pretty. That's so pretty. It's like this bubblegum, like shimmer pink shade. I think that is so pretty. Yeah, so with the brush, it kind of like shears it out, which I don't want. This shade all over the lid, really stunning. But I can already tell I need to go in with a darker shade in the crease. I think that I want to go in with this blue or the purple. I don't know. I want to go in with either the shade 5 which is this blue right here, or the shade she insists, uh, because I'm feeling kind of light and airy today. So let's go in with the blue in the crease to see what that does. Oh, there's a lot of fallout. Uh, there's just so much fallout with that shade. Okay. Oh, what am I doing? What? Okay, I'm like, go big or go home. Just keep going, Tati. Ah, okay, this is a, a pastel shade, so that's, a, that's cool. It's not as pigmented at all, but we're just going to go with it. I'm going to go back into that pink just to fix it. Uh, I don't know why, it just, I've seen like lighter pastel blues. That shade, I know it's pastel, but like it did, I don't know. Okay, well, I really do like this pink shade all on the lid. I think it's really pretty. All that I think this look is missing for the top part is like something in the outer corner and I don't know what. I don't wanna go black, that's too dark. Let's just go into the shade Crushed right here and just put this in the outer corner, maybe? Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Just something to like add a little bit to this look. I actually really do like how this look is coming out. It looked a little crazy at first with that blue in the crease, but I'm really liking this. So for lower lash line, I think I'm just gonna take some of this crush shade and like drag it on the lower lash line. I'm going for a softer look today because I have on such a light, light base. All right, so I'm gonna go add some mascara and some eyeliner and then I will see you guys back for my final thoughts on this palette. So I went ahead and added wing liner and some mascara. This look is so light and it doesn't even look like I have anything on, but trust me guys, I do. Um, it is pretty. I'm really, I love that shade. Dancing Queen all over the lid. I think it is really beautiful. 
I am not the biggest fan of the blue pastel shade in this palette because, yeah, I'm just not the biggest fan of that shade. But whatever, you gotta, you gotta try out the palette, get a feel for it. So that's what I'm doing. I do want to try out some of these darker looks eventually. I, I really do think that this is a good palette. I really, really, really do. I think that this palette is so well rounded and she did a really good job placing these shades together i just my only thing my only 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 critique besides the packaging being matte and white which gets dirty really fast i just wish that there was a brown in here like a warm brown not this because this looks like a coppery type of shade like these two are kind of coppery one just has shimmer i just wish that there was a brown that would really as a transition shade that would really go with every color because i just felt like the deepest transition shade that they did have which does work for me don't get me wrong and there's a lot of transitions that will work for a lot of different skin tones, but you just need a brown. Just a brown so it can really go with every color look. This shade just did not go with this pink. It did not go with the pink. Those two just didn't go. I just felt like a brown would have went so much better, which kind of resulted to me putting this like blue in my crease. But I did want to try that shade out. I mean, it's fine. I just wouldn't do that again. I think I would just keep shade number five as a shade to put all over the lid like i did with the mint shade i thought that that came out so beautiful all over the lid it was just really really stunning and then i also went in with this shade in the crease like i told you guys earlier those two really pair well together it's just i couldn't figure out what would pair with this like these two are just too close to each other to pair but i just the only other shade that I really had that I knew would like show up would be this one. We have this shade right here which is Maddie Girl, but it's really really light so uh, it just wasn't going to work for me. But yeah, that's just me personally how I feel. But all in all, this is a really 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 great palette and I, I do think that if you love the color story pick it up some people may have these colors in their collection already but if you just feel like you want it to be all in one palette and you don't have to pull from other palettes to get those shades i do think this is a great palette to use i'm still standing by it my favorite shade in this palette is god mom it is stunning it's beautiful so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace